Hello, boys and girls. The kids are all asleep, so it's time to play some games. And today we're not playing any racing, we're playing Cyber Sentinel from an indie team, Mind Helix. Cyber Sentinel. Supposedly, it's a programming game, a little bit like Human Resources Machine, which I l really liked. And the good folks at Mind Helix have provided me with a code to try it out. I haven't played the game before, so it's gonna be interesting to see. I am a programmer by trade, so uh, I should do very well in this game. Well, well in this game. And it's gonna be really embarrassing when I don't. Game comes with a variety of languages. We'll stick to English. And let's start chapter one. You need 18 SIM cards to unlock. Dedicated to Alan Turing. I'm sorry, it's Cyber Sentinel. Near future. Information is the most precious precious of resources. International corporations fight a data war for access to new medical, government and military patents and contracts. In an ongoing run arms race, something something. Rough night. Snoring dude. Hello, Neo. Wake up call. It doesn't say Neo. It's just, you know. I think it's mandatory now. And why isn't it green? You're finally up. Our employee has a new assignment for you. So. Jack King. Jack King? You sure it's checking? Ooh. And there we go. Electricity spine. Okay, we're gonna be playing some wirefly games or a little bit of Tron. No. Hacker, you sound a little hangover, so a quick reintroduction. Our employer pays you to infiltrate and obtain sensitive information. Next. If your brain cells didn't give you an idea yet, what you see is cyberspace. A safe connection to your first target, to be specific. This is the graphical representation of your progress. And this is file your programs need to steal to complete an assignment. Follow my instructions and you just might recall something. Open program view. Move program view. Okay. Oh, like that. Drag and drop this state. Okay. Great. This is how you add states. Now delete them. To delete them. Next. Top X. Okay, that's pretty... Uh, Intuitive. Great. Your head is starting to work and it seems I might not be wasting my time. Our employer and our employer money on you. Let's continue. At this state. There we go. Click your program. Click your program start node. A start node. And drag and drop a gray handle on new state. Gray. Why not? Okay, you create a c condition so your program can change its state and actually do something useful. Next, close program. Tap play to start and observe. And it's rolling, 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 and we get it. Level statistics. States used, simulation steps, conditions used, and state transition. Pretty straightforward. Level multipass, John Doe multipass. 
So it's not the same cards. Oh well. Great. You just stole. Um, obtain your first data hacker. Let's continue. First turn. Now let's recall how to change direction of movement. Next. Move. System view. Okay. Select red color. Tap on this floor tile. Great. You mark the tile in your program's memory. Your programs can now react differently when they reach it. Next. Open the program view. Okay. Add this state. I'm guessing move left, right. Left, right. Tap this state and drag a red handle. Okay. So... Last condition means your program will change state when it stands on a red tile. Okay. Press play and observe. There we go. Oh, and I don't need to close it. And then it changes. Oh, pretty straightforward. Uh, statistics. Completed multi-pass. Great. To the next system then. And now show me what you are paying you for. Repeat what you've learned. Next, okay. Let's take a red state and then uh, fine. Let's go blue green state. So we need to go up, and then when we get to red, we need to go right, and when we go to green, we need to go down. There we go. Play. Do, 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 step, restart, this is files, and this is speed, continue, multi-pass, and I got an achievement, script kitty, there we go, we can share solution, restart, and continue, let's continue, loop, good, try another one, keep in mind, less resources, which are states used means bigger reward. Okay, uh, we need to go down. Then we. Then we need to turn. Then we need to turn. And then we need to. Okay. We're going down on white. Then we're going right on red. Then we're going up on green. Then we're going left on blue. Then we want to go down again. But can we... Is this actually making it white or... Oh, okay, I guess we'll just... Go on... We'll go down on red. Uh, and then we'll go... Right on red. Green and... Blue. Let's see if that works. We're going down. That's fine. Yeah, I guess I don't need to use different colors every time we are in a certain state. And we can just choose an action, whatever we want. There we go, and... Boom! State transitions. I guess they're either averages or something. We'll see. Multipass. Oh, we got three, I guess. Continue. Switch. Hint for this system. This is a switch. It is activated when stepped on by a program. Oh, this one. What 
I don't know what it's doing. It's your task to figure it out. I didn't ask, but fine. Let me guess. It disables the lasers. It's nice that it's transparent. I'm not sure. Maybe... Um, half and half would be a nice choice as well. Okay. Uh, so we would like to turn left when we get to oh, well no please no not a loop and first we need to go up then we will turn left on red uh, can i color uh, yes i can uh, a switch then we will go back up and then when we get to blue we will turn right let's see how that works we're going up we're turning right we disabled smooth operator Boom. And every f conditions used four instead of three. Hmm. Not exactly. I'm All right. One, two, three. Yes. I suppose so. I suppose I did use more conditions and state transitions four. Hmm. Could. Okay, let's not dwell on if I could have done it better, easier, faster. We get multipass. Continue. This is where the magic happens. I thought it's sci-fi, not magical, fantasy. This is where the magic happens. Select red. Mark this style. Open program view. All oh, right, slide. Add this state. And this one. And this one too. Top start state. Drag and drop a gray handle. Again, red handle to but drop it specifically on the blue handle. Great, you've created a special condition that changes state and also changes tile color, okay? Tap this state. Finally drag and drop a blue handle, play and observe. So this will go up, tap, change the color, blue will go this way, and there we go. I guess people could do it differently. Multipass, chapter 2, unlocked. Oh, Okay, can I still do chapter one? Let's oh back and forth and back again. Okay. So we need to get here. I'm guessing this turns off stuff. So we want to go to the right. And color this red when red then we want to turn and color it white let's do like this so we go here turn around go up to here and this is uh, when we hit uh, what red Then we want to turn around and color it white again. So we'll go here. We'll turn around, go here. On this one, we want to turn around, go here. And on this one, would that work? Let's see. Boom. Painter automation. I'm getting achievements left and right. 
Okay, I have a bad feeling about this. Or will it work out great? It will work out great. And continue. Multipass. Level 8, Companion Cube, aka Prison Break. Okay, 1 and 2. So, we would like 2 to just move. Just move. And it will take it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 1. Shoot. Let's do it. Move left. Move right. I'm sorry. Move down. Move left. Move up. Hmm. This is trickier. One, two, three, four, five. Would that work? Okay, let's see. Start by going to this one. On red, move down. On down, move. On right, left. On left, move up. On up, move. A on this one, when you turn, oops, change it to white. Move uh, can this change it to a color? Let's call it red, and on red, move. Please give me the red one, move up, back up. Okay, so it will move here, color itself, then move uh, one step. Let's try it out. No, oh, that will absolutely not work. <laughs> Firewolf, yes, yes, that's it's abs absolutely a yes. bang head. Uh, we need to color those, right? There we go. Let's try this again. Boom, 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 and oh, yes, that worked, and it blew itself up. Oh well, a lot of states. Multi pass, coming cars. Laser dance. Okay. Let's see, we have switches everywhere, and we don't know what they do. So, we need to move. We need to move up. No. I like this game. I like these programming puzzles. Uh, I spend all day programming, and then I come home, and I want just want to spend time doing this. Which is weird, I know. Okay, we will move up. This switch is most likely turning off this vertical uh, horizontal lasers, which means that we will continue moving up. And this switch could very well turn off anything. Let's see what it... Actually, can we just step? Yes, that's fine. Then step. Then step. Then we need to turn... Oh, restart before modifying. Okay. So, then we want to turn left. And it's gonna be on red. So, this is turned off. This is turned off. This could turn off either this one or this one. Let's step. 
Boom. 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 Then we need up. So then. Let's go back up on red. And boom. Okay, then this will open this one. So let us turn uh, right on green. This will probably open it up. Then let's continue. Continue. Then we want to move down. Let's move down on red. And hopefully this will solve it. Let's try it out. Turn this one. Uh, absolutely what color do I choose? We want to move right on green. There we go. Try again. Boom. Boom. Yes. Yes, and of course we forgot to place the last one. And by we, I mean me. Uh, red. Uh, when we hit red, it will go down. And to the side, and then there we go. Pretty sweet. Multipass, chapter one solved, and chapter one maxed out. Okay. Return to game, clear solution, options, uh, pause menu. Let's see what continue this. There we go. We maxed out chapter one. And I think I'll stop here. Uh, how many chapters are there? Three, four, five chapters. Pretty sweet. Uh, I'll try to do a chapter next time. There's community levels and level editor. Let's just quickly look through. Community levels, losers, new achievement. Yes, and we can do level editor, tap anywhere to insert tile. We're not going to be playing with that yet. Test, publish, okay, thank you. Do we really want to exit? Yes. Uh, let's see, credits, just for now. So, as I said, thank you for mine for the key to mine Helix. Uh, the game is available on Steam. If you like a little bit of programming, a little bit of uh, state changes, then I think this is the game for you. And uh, it's a nice little game. Okay. Thank you folks and I'll talk to you later.